Hi Taurus, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome back. My Cyber Angels, thank you for your loyalty and supporting the channel by your likes and shares. And if you're new, welcome back. Oh sorry, if you're new, welcome to the channel and please subscribe and hit the bell on all. Then you will be notified and check also your settings. I will make a little video on that um, in the near future but allow YouTube to send you notifications and check all your channels as well that you are a member of by clicking the bell and refreshing the settings on all okay um, your first card is because this is your reading for the 31st of August 2020 till the 6th of September 2020 Taurus so you have the Knight of Cups, you will receive news. This could mean news about compassion, about passion, love, or just saying, hi, I miss you, or would you like to join us for a party, or would you like to come? It could be a wedding invitation or a birthday invitation to go and visit somebody. This could also be an offer of a job, or love, or passion. This could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. These people are highly sensitive. A lot of them are also um, uh, intuitive and also might s be psychic. Okay. To um, clarify that card, you have the Three of Fire. So your plans, this card says, Three of fire, three of fire is the three of wands. That means your plans are coming together. Your ideas are actually be coming to life in the material world. This looks like a dragon <laughs> or a river. It doesn't matter. But you have found your path and you're on the right path. You see like a bare landscape, but yet there's a lot of col color. There's still lots to put the dot on the eye and cross your T's. Okay, in, in other decks you sh see ships coming in, the ships of abundance uh, coming in. This could be love, like I said, this could be money, this could be a job, this could be more clients if you own your own business. In the middle of the week, you have the Five of Cups. Ah, oh, loss. Yes, loss. You can't cry over spilled millet, darlings. You are not seeing the two cups that have fallen over. Or the two cups, sorry, that are still standing. So be grateful. Show gratitude. Stand up. Dust yourself off. And you can only change the present and the future. You can't do anything about the past. It could be a lot in that you are missing something that you've lost, like a relationship, a partnership, or anything else. Don't look back, carry on, pick up these two cups and start multiplying them and making them five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You might need advice. This could be from, as you've got the hierophant, this could be from a man that is uh, a doctor um, and if you are crying over a loss a death because we have a gravestone here then perhaps you might perhaps you might need medical advice or advice from a social worker to sort things out so that you can carry on the higher event also represents Taurus you might seek advice from a Taurus this could be a father figure or a mature man, but it can also be your spiritual guide, like a priest or an other spiritual guide. You might even seek uh, advice from a reader. Okay, now, I'm getting here, this person, you know this person, and you feel out of balance you've got two fives look at this so that you will this person will help you to bring you back into your strength 
and not to give up and to see the beauty of what is lying in front of you as your plans are coming to fruition and there will be an offer wow nice one don't give up you've come so far and then you've got the king of pentacles wow you can't get a better card than that in this instance because everything you touch it turns to gold if you are investing you are just like the king you've seeked advice on how to invest and it will bring its returns boom it's coming in and now you know it's coming in because you have invested in the right thing and everything that you touch will turn out positively the king of pentacles is Taurus again so you've got Taurus twice so you might be meeting a Taurus this could be a friend or if you're not hooked up this could be a new love but don't exclude a Virgo or Capricorn either then we have the ten of air although the ten of air is a negative card because you might feel stabbed in the back because air is swords by somebody this could be a Taurus but I don't think so um, otherwise you wouldn't be seeking advice or would be so powerful but it could be because there's a lot of Tauruses out there and they're not all the same we are made out of more planets than just our Sun sign okay and in this deck that's why I love this deck it's so positive everything has got a negative side to it and an and the other has a, an, a, a positive side to it and uh, it is also positive the ten of swords says that you are rising above this situation this loss of a friend okay you seek the advice and you've taken the status of the king of pentacles and you're rising above it you know that that friendship that has turned sour and that you've lost cannot be um, reconciled as you will not trust that person again but where there is an ending there's also a new beginning and look at the rainbow know that you are being protected by the divine and by your ancestors people that have gone over they are protecting you they're showing you the rainbow so don't worry they are still with you they are looking after you although you cannot touch them or see them they are still with you they want you to enjoy your life perhaps um, they left a little bit of an inheritance behind because uh, the king of pentacles he looks quite old <laughs> and he does mean money so something good might be coming so that could be the news I think though you have sown seeds and the seeds are coming to fruition at the weekend or this week as your boats are coming in the three of wands your plans are coming to fruition Wow look at this and you've got the ace of earth you've got a lot of earth signs okay you've got a lot of pentacles and earth signs and you might find out that you're pregnant but the time is fertile now you might hear of a pregnancy from somebody else or you might find out uh, hear of a, a birth of a new beginning a new venture that's you might be hearing of this birth that your plans are coming to fruition your seeds that you've sown are coming to fruition as it is harvest time now but you could also be meeting a Virgo a Taurus or a Capricorn as they are definitely quite prominent in this reading Taurus definitely and the overall energy is the Queen of Air there could be a lady that is uh, the Queen and that's a Libra the Libra but don't exclude Gemini or Aquarius that will st help you stand your ground and get clarity as she cuts straight through to the core and gets on the, the truth and clarity and that you are seeking so that you don't feel uh, upset about the loss perhaps somebody might have stolen money from you and it's being found back because you've invested in a, a 
professional advisor let it be the Libra or the Taurus the air sign or the earth signs the king of earth okay I think you've got somebody very powerful beside you to advise you or that you know somebody that's powerful that will cut straight through to the core and get the truth out and get justice done you've definitely got new beginnings and what you've been planning is going to come to fruition now you've got the source you've gone back to the source this could be spiritually but this could also be that you've um, received news um, where your money is or to find out which source you can use like an advocate or a lawyer that will sort out this predicament of the loss that you've led it doesn't have to be a person it can also be material okay and it has upset you so you you have the source this is the card of the Avalonian deck like I said you're going back to the source you're realizing that the source that you are connected with heaven and earth the people or the uh, or the divine is showing you that you are connected you've got nothing to worry about because there will be a rebirth if you've lost something there will be a rebirth and there could be a second chance at what you were doing so don't cry over spilled milk you've still got the two cups standing use those two cups because more is coming in just know that clarity will prevail okay and cut your losses where uh, you feel that you were stabbed in the back learn from the past and don't trust everybody seek an advisor look at the small print if you're signing contracts learn from the past the future means that you are going to have what you need and more i hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and don't give up stay safe and be blessed please share and like